Hi guys, it's Lydia again. Welcome to another video on Nature Unplugged. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, hit the bell so that you are notified of future videos. Today I'm going to cook yams. Yams are a tuber originating in Africa and Asia. There are many varieties of yams. The yams I'm going to cook for you are from West Africa. The variety with this brown, rough and scaly skin with cream colored flesh inside. Yams are starchier and drier than sweet potatoes. They have a unique taste, sweet but not as sweet as potatoes. In African cuisine, they are mostly boiled, roasted, baked or fried. They are also boiled and pounded into a dough-like paste called fufu, which is eaten with soups and stews. Yams are also ground into flour. These yams are rich in vitamin A, C, and B6, minerals such as potassium, manganese, phosphorus, and copper, and they are also very high in fiber. Yams can also be used as a substitute for potatoes. Today I'm going to share with you the four ways that I cook and serve yams. The recipes are vegan and very healthy. The first recipe is the African inspired vegan yam curry stew. The ingredients are yams, onions, tomatoes, bell peppers, coriander or cilantro, chilies, turmeric, curry, paprika, grapeseed oil, and salt to taste. I'll start by peeling and chopping the yams into small pieces. I must admit, the first time I saw a yam, the skin looked very intimidating to me. But believe me, with a sharp knife, a yam is very easy to peel and chop. I now really enjoy peeling and chopping yams. After peeling and chopping, I'm washing them thoroughly with cold water, changing the water several times until the water is clear of any starch. I'm then boiling them at medium heat for 15 to 20 minutes until well cooked. Next, I'll start chopping the onions. I've got two medium-sized onions. This is followed by the green bell pepper. Next, the tomatoes. In a medium sized pot, I'll add two tablespoons of grapeseed oil followed by the onions. I'll saute the onions until they are translucent. And then add the paprika, the curry, and the turmeric. Mix well for a minute and then add the green bell peppers. Mix well and let it cook for another one or two minutes. Next, add the tomatoes, mix well, allow to cook at medium heat for up to 10 minutes. You should stir at regular intervals just to make sure that it doesn't stick at the bottom. When the tomatoes are cooked through, I then add boiling water and salt and mix well. What I want is this thin consistency because we are going to add the yams in the end. I also add the liquid aminos. If you don't have liquid aminos, you can add soy sauce. Now, in goes the yams. I mix them well, 
with the sauce and make sure that they are covered with the sauce. I let them simmer for another 10 minutes until they fully absorb the sauce. Last but not least, I roughly chop the coriander and mix it well in the pot and remove the pot from the fire. Our stew is done. Looks great. You can have this dish on its own or pair it with some protein like beans or lentils and you can also have a salad on the side. Yams are a very good replacement of potatoes. Hope you'll try this recipe. If you do, let me know what you think about it. Our next recipe is the oven baked yam sticks. The ingredients are a small yam, a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of oil, salt to taste. I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I'll start by chopping the yams into thin sticks. I then wash them thoroughly to remove excess starch and then pat them dry with a paper towel to remove excess water. Then add the spices and the oil, mix well, put in a lined baking sheet and bake in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes or until cooked through. I am going to serve these yam sticks with homemade tomato sauce and homemade guacamole. Enjoy. The third dish is the vegan yam salad. The ingredients are yams, red onion, cucumbers, bell pepper, tomatoes, celery sticks, and for the dressing, I'm going to use liquid aminos, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. Hey, I had forgotten the avocado. I'll start by chopping and then cooking the yam. Let them sit to cool down. When they've cooled down, I'll put together the salad. I'll start by chopping finely the rest of the ingredients and adding them to the yams bowl. Ingredients to be added are the red onions, the red bell peppers, the celery, the cucumbers, and the cherry tomatoes. The dressing for this is made up of liquid aminos, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. Guys, I just want to let you know that I have tried this salad with a creamy salad dressing like tahini. It is a bomb.com. Unfortunately, I don't have tahini today. There you have the yam salad. Isn't it beautiful? You can also make a nut based salad dressing using cashew nuts or almonds. The last dish is the plain yams. You just boil them and serve them. They can be eaten for breakfast with tea or coffee or as an any time of day snack. There you have the four ways that you can cook and serve yams. Please try them and let me know what you think about the recipes. As usual, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And please remember to subscribe 
and hit that bell so that you are notified of future videos. Bye-bye.